What's up guys, ZFG here, bringing you another OOT 100% speedrun video. If they do delay Breath of the Wild 2 again though, and then people are gonna be... I mean, I know everyone expects Zelda delays, but I wonder if people are gonna be mad about... Dude, <laughs> remember when TPHD and Windmaker HD came out between Skyward Sword and Breath of the Wild? And they were both separate games that were supposed to be... Hey, hold off until we actually have Breath of the Wild ready. They're gonna do the exact same thing for Breath of the Wild 2. Yeah, Breath of the Wild did get delayed. Yeah, as, and then SSHD was already a filler game. It might, people might be kind of mad if there's another filler game, if there's another Wind Waker HD and TPHD like double pack filler. I mean, it's like they should do it or they should have done it already at least, but it's gonna be like, man, how many filler games do you have to give us? A limited purchase window. If they do that limited purchase window shit again, I'm gonna be super mad. I hope they don't do that again. Yeah, wasn't there some rumor about Oracles being remade in the style of Link's Awakening? I don't think that's happening, but it would be cool. Yeah, I doubt. I doubt MK9 would be on Switch. It'd probably be on the next game, next system. Although there were, apparently there's rumors about it recently. I actually hardly watched anything from GDQ. What I missed? Did I miss good stuff? No. People were mad at the Mario Maker commentary? Why? GeoGuessr? There was a GeoGuessr run. <laughs> I might actually want to watch that. Wait, there was a TOS thing during the GeoGuessr run? Did, did someone see, like, was there a certain image of something that just happened to appear on GeoGuessr that was funny? Oh, nice. Okay. So there's a new method for this that doesn't require equipping hover boots. Uh, the problem is that it's a one frame side hop and it's only faster if you don't buffer it. It's pretty cool, but it's probably not actually worth. Like that side hop is frame perfect. And if you don't get it, then it's, or if you buffer it, it's not faster. And if you don't, if you don't buffer it and then don't get it, you lose a lot of time. Working your break sticks. Good question. Uh, let me take a look through adult two. Uh, Morpha is probably the first place that sticks out. Definitely have some time during Morpha. Oh, and KD. Just do it during Morpha and KD. Those both have plenty of time that sticks out. That was not a pun. The new Dusky method? You mean the lunge storage method? No, I'm not going to do that. That's basically only faster in a TAS. It's really cool though. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's faster than buffering the old way, but I feel like most people don't. Well, I guess I guess quite a few people. Yeah, I, I think lunge storage might actually be. There's a chance it could be a better strat for like beginners. Do I remember the old times before the Rona? I do. Dude, I remember. I remember at GDQ 2020. We were in a hotel room and joking about a Volv I remember Volv was sick and like news of some mysterious new disease out of China was being talked about and we were like making jokes about Volv having coronavirus. Volv was patient zero. Little did we know. I think it's actually, yeah, I think it would be faster to get up here like this so you can get the text away faster by having the A button be pickup. Shut up, dude. Oh my god, how big is his speech range? Who do I main in Smash? Uh, in Ultimate I play Wolf, in Melee I play Marth. Dude, I love Wolf. I don't really like that many characters in Ultimate, but I, I love Wolf. <laughs> He's so cheap. I do, I do just press C-Stick down to win sometimes. You ever play against one of the Smash Gods in Melee? I have played against Mewtwo King. He 11 stalked me. I got one. Yeah, using Marth. It was Marth Dittos. No, I did not say lol M2K when I took the one stock. Alright, so here's the interesting part of the run. So this is where we would do text transfer glitch with the kid to sell Spooky Mask without having Spooky Mask.
Did I get it? I got it. I actually want to practice um, timing this, because I think timing this is probably going to be better than mashing. So what you have to do here is talk to the kid uh, the frame before you get hit. And you'll get hit. Um, you'll talk to the kid and then get hit. And now I'm in a state where, like, if I press A to talk to him, this happens and I soft lock. Uh, we can use this to activate text transfer glitch. You do this, pull a grave, a text box comes up. Talk to him, text box goes away, you gain control again, and then you can do this, do sorry a song. If I got sorry a song, if I wasn't stupid, I was supposed to get sorry a song before coming to graveyard, and I just forgot. But yeah, doing all that after you play sorry a song would make it so that you sell Skull Kid, you sell Spooky Mask to him, even if you don't have Spooky Mask. Big skip. It's potentially pretty big for this, yeah. It depends on how we can route it in. Because, um, it is... It is one, uh, risky because you have to time a button press out of unpause. Either time or mash a button press out of unpause. Because you can't talk to NPCs while unpausing, so you can't buffer it. And if you fail it, you just have to reset up the trick, I think. So it's not... Not nice if you fail it. Uh, you know you got it if the kid stops moving. If he continues to walk forward, you missed it. And also it disables Z, so if you can't target, then you know you got it. Yeah, and then see, he got Spooky Mask. And I never had it in my inventory. You play Sorry's three times, he acts like nothing happened. Wait, really? It like returns him to normal? Oh, because it does it like continue his text boxes? <laughs> I sold it to him again. Oh my god, I'm robbing him. Actually scammed. Feeling his lunch money. Dude, we need to find some way to skip this cutscene without a trade timer. I'm so mad that it's like so close to being skippable, but not really. I'm so mad that Void Out doesn't work. You can hover in a castle, but <clears throat> not at the same time as the cutscene. If only you could like, if you could like do death hole, but set the death hole like point where it drags you into the loading zone somehow. Uh, Void just doesn't skip the cutscene. It just voids you into the cutscene so that you are in the cutscene, but like at a different coordinate. Source requirement manipulation. No, this is source requirement. I was not in GDQ this year. Uh, uh, is this supposed to happen? That's not rip, that's good. <laughs> this is better result than expected. What happened is the mask of truth. Or wait, is he gonna let me? Oh, never mind, never mind. He doesn't let me rent it. <laughs> I'm stupid. I forgot that it's displayed there without being able to actually rent it. Does that mean that we could... I mean, I don't think there's any way you could get text transfer glitch here, but... That makes me wonder, if you could theoretically text transfer glitch, could you potentially... No, I don't think that worked like that. I wonder though, I wonder if you could somehow manipulate it to get him to say yes to Mask of Truth. I lacked critical information. I'm sorry I lacked basic casual information. This wouldn't have happened if I was on English. If I could actually read. Starting Dampe with 10 rupees is not ideal. Just get lucky. Uh, I ran SM64 a very, very long time ago. For a short time. It was okay. And I don't have any plans on going back. Why does everyone want the, the, the Zelda runners to go run Mario? What category of SM64? I actually ran 16 star and 30 star. I didn't even run 70. Well, I think I did a run of 70 and a run of 120. My 16 PB, I at least got sub 20. I don't remember exactly. I did in fact beat Sig in a race. No, I did run Mario Galaxy 2. I actually did I, I don't know if I actually did a full run of Mario Galaxy 2. I think I only did single stars with plans to run Mario Galaxy 2. And I never actually did. I think I ran, I did like a playthrough of Mario Galaxy 1, which was meant to be, I'm going to prepare for a speed run of this. And then I never did. Remember I did streams where I did shit. No, the, the time trials, like, single star time trials on Galaxy 2 were actually pretty good. 
Oh yeah, so there's this new strat. I'm not actually sure how viable this really is. Because uh, it barely saves time. Let me actually look up a setup. How the cows work. Do you mean the thing about um, how like you can milk both cows? Oh, Dilly's body. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Is that an NPC? Or is that... Yeah. Do they have, uh, hitboxes? No. Can I still milk them? That's not a Pona song? Yeah, I assume the body part's the milk part. Just wanted to try. Yeah. Tailless cows. Okay, this isn't too bad. Okay, yeah, this is nice. Staying night for a long time. Did I never take off freeze time? Oh my god. I don't think it matters. As long as it turns day before I leave, it should be fine. Nintendo's still stuck in 2007. I know. Isn't isn't a switch like I forgot, is it is it closer in power to a PS3 or a PS4? Because I feel like the answer is probably PS3. And I'm worried about that. PS2. Alright, it's not a PS2. But yeah, Switch just feels so far behind. Like, I don't necessarily need 4K gaming on Switch, but man, it's so it just feels so far behind. Yeah, Arceus just looks like a GameCube game. Arceus looks so bad. Arceus is probably the worst looking non-random third party game on Switch. Yeah, I know I know Switch is underpowered, but I, there's no way I believe that the Switch is so underpowered that the devs are doing their best to make it look good. Like that's, that's 100% more work could have been done. Yeah, Breath of the Wild looks so much better. Monster Hunter looks so much better. Like, there's so many other, like, similar games that look so much better. I think for 69 months, Dave Boy. Nice. Oh, did I just forget Momshi Bowling? Uh... I did. Cool. Whatever. Uh, no, I totally didn't forget Momshi Bowling. I'm doing them right now. And then how many bombs would I have? 38. Uh, yeah, 39, 38, 37. And then one more heart piece also. <laughs> Did someone fall asleep on their keyboard in chat? Oh no. Oh no, now everyone fell asleep on their keyboard. SRM is not bad. SRM is good. Stop hating SRM. SRM is not cringe. SRM is cool. Someone calling SRM dumb baby hundo? SRM is not dumb baby hundo. If anything, no SRM is the baby hundo and SRM is the ridiculously hard hundo. Hundo SRM? The route that I was running about this time a year ago, that route was probably the hardest main, probably the hardest main category OOT route. That category was insane. Yeah, I love that route so much. It was so cool. No, Cry didn't get banned. Why do you people fall for <clears throat> the most obvious jokes? How many of you people think I'm actually unironically banned from GDQ? Yes, you people. You thought I was ironically banned. I mean, I'm kind of ironically banned because I'm still blocked from GDQ monitors Twitter. I think that kind of counts as an ironic ban. GDQ is still a thing. Yeah, the most recent GDQ literally ended yesterday. Yeah, I was kind of surprised. I didn't... I feel like I didn't see that much about GDQ on Twitter. But I might have just not been paying attention because I kind of don't pay attention to Twitter that much anymore anyway. Dude, every time I check my Twitter mentions recently, 
There's always some random tagging me in some NFT tweet trying to sell me an NFT. Why? Why is this happening? It's like every day I get exactly one random NFT tag tweet. There's always one a day. Not more, not less. Must buy dank apes. <laughs> what is it with NFTs and pictures of monkeys? I don't get it. Is there anything to get? I do get it? Okay. Diddy Kong NFT. I wonder how much space on my SD card is used by save states. I just thought I have like so many save states for so many different runs. I wonder if I have like a gigabyte of save states. Did you know if you set Furore's Wind right as you kill Bongo, the game soft locks? Do it? No. I literally did it um, on accident during a all dungeons run a while ago. Back when I ran all dungeons SRM. I did that on accident once. Yeah, the boss rush mode. I think we can probably do something like this and then like... Two side hops, let's see if this works. All right, setup found. Yeah, zero zero is right there. It's right in front of the entrance. Right in front of the entrance below the slope. Yeah, it's pretty convenient. This route is definitely a bit weird. There's certain things I'm actually not super confident in about this route. Um, I probably shouldn't say anything before I finish it or anything, but... I feel like if we want to use something like this route, there are going to have to be some improvements to it, though. But that's for later, I guess, once things are more settled. But yeah, uh, I'll see you guys later. Hopefully I'll finish this up tomorrow. Bye-bye.